The Educational Opportunity Project is a project that's trying to harness big data about education in every school in the country to learn about where we as a country are providing more and less educational opportunity for our students and to learn how to improve opportunity. We started building the database about five years ago, 2014, and we've been adding to it ever since. And one of the things we've been doing with it, in addition to building the database so that other people can use it, is conducting research with it. The website has data from every single public school in the United States. Uh, it's based on about 350 million test scores taken by students in every school in the country. And we use that data to construct measures of the average achievement of students, but also how much they learn. So education opportunity is more than just what's provided by schools. It's the sum total of all the kinds of ways that kids can learn in and out of school, early in childhood, and while they're in public schools. And when we look at average test scores in a community, in a school district, or in a school, what we're measuring is really the amount of educational opportunity provided in those communities not the average ability, because average ability doesn't vary from one place to another, but opportunity does. I think that this kind of data allows us to do a couple of things we haven't been able to do before. One, it lets us do a kind of research we haven't been able to do before, because now we have data everywhere. But it also is going to let us develop, I think, better and more targeted educational and social policies. We hope that policymakers and educators will use that evidence to create more equal opportunity and improve schooling opportunities. We also hope that it will help people understand how to better evaluate schools because it lets us understand not just what students' test scores are, but really how much they're learning while they're in school, which is a much better measure of school quality. I like to think of what we're doing as what you might call educational epidemiology. That is, we're trying to, in, in order to fix problems of inequality and to improve schools, we need to have a good understanding of the landscape of the problem. And so, in some ways, that's what epidemiologists do. They try to understand where uh, a problem is and where it's getting worse and where it's getting better and then diagnose it and then solve it. And if you think about the big project, that's what it's really about. It's trying to map the landscape in sufficient detail that we can get to a place where we can really start to have targeted social and educational policy solutions that will really make a difference in terms of equality of educational opportunity.